We've arrived at the Florida Backyard Scientist's house. The boat is in one piece. It was a long, grueling drive, but it's done. It actually looked done in part one, but there's actually a little bit more stuff we need to do before it was finished. I painted the interior, added cool wood planking, fiberglass to the deck, and varnished over the glass. Did I mention how much fiberglassing really sucks? But it does look pretty good. Once that was done, I TIG braced some brass parts, finished up the windscreen, and added solar panels. I did take the boat out for a brief cruise before driving down here to Florida, just to test out some of the lights and make sure the boat wasn't gonna sink. You excited for the water, Toby? Are you excited for the water, Toby? Toby, you excited for the water? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it in that spring over there and check out some clear water, because we're in Florida and you don't get that in Ohio. Clear water? It's clear water, oh, yeah. Water. Ohio is scum fest. California, you don't even have water. Yeah, that's right. All right, Lightning McQueen, the ramp's all yours. Just use, just use your head. Just use, look behind you. First try or? No, no, this is not, he's not gonna get it. Well, the motorcycle guy's like, I can do it for you too. Let me do it. Kevin, you're doing a horrible job. Backyard scientist, more like backup scientist. I'll keep doing the experiment no matter how many times it takes. Kevin, what are you doing? You almost gonna tell your bump that. Let me do it, let me do it. Hard, hard, hard left, hard left, hard left, hard left, hard left, hard left. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Yeah, you're gonna have to straighten it out. Do it. I'm not, yeah, I'm you done. hold the camera. No. Okay, help me. Now he's done. mad. Now he's mad. He's mad. Kevin, done. my little pog champ, come back. <laughs> there we go. You got it, William. I did all the hard work. It's okay, Kevin. I believe I in you. I did all the hard work. With the boat ramp show out of the way, let's do some boating. Hey, Peter, your boat's kind of cringe compared to this epic boat. <laughs> it's not the size of the boat that matters, it's how choppy the water is. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Wiki Watch Spring in Florida somewhere. Where yeah. are we in the spring? Right now we're in the Wikiwashi River, heading up to the spring, which is at the end of the river, and the farther we go towards the spring, the clearer the water is gonna get. Who's a wet? Oh It is time to actually start testing some of this stuff. So first, we're gonna actually get some data and see what the boat does with the normal propellers. Come on, salty sea dog. Go boat, go boat, go boat. Boat dog, boat. Hey, Toby, you wanna help me get some data today? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we are now boating away. It's time to actually get some solar stuff done because the last few days I've been playing around with the boat because it's honestly a lot of fun around here just tooling around with me, my dog, and my other friends. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is checking what kind of power we pull at certain throttle settings. So I've got the throttle quadrant marked out. A, B, C, and D. And at the different throttle settings, we're gonna be pulling different amp amounts. So what I'm gonna do is kind of mark them down, see what kind of amps we're drawing and how fast we're going, and then we're gonna swap out to the 3D printed propellers and see how fast we really go, or if we actually go slower, because there's a chance they might not work very good. It's also worth noting, we're doing a direct cross when we're doing the speed, so we're not gonna influence by the upwind or the downwind blowing of the wind in the water in the bay. So I've gone through the footage of the boat and I can't really make heads or tails of what's going on. So I literally just graphed it all out. So basically you can kind of see here that the stock props on these throttle settings 
It's pretty good performance. The amps are pretty efficient, the speed's okay. But one thing I did notice though is when I switched to the three pin of props, of course the amp draw definitely goes up. It was so high that even with D, which is basically full power, the motors actually shut off. They gave me a bunch of warning tones and then just simply cut out. So that's not good. I don't think I can actually use these props too much. But I am definitely getting more reforms. I actually got the highest speed I've ever gotten in the boat, which is 4.9 knots at 65 amps. I really can't go much beyond that because these are only 960 watts rated for each trolling motor. But one thing I did find that was very interesting, and well, I kind of did figure that this was going to happen, was the 3D printer props are actually more efficient at the lower throttle setting. I've trimmed it down to 8.7 amps, which is the same amp draw I used at the stock prop, which got me 2.5 knots. They actually got me 2.8 knots, which is a little bit quicker, but overall, the 3D printer props weren't much of an improvement. In fact, they were somewhat of a hindrance because if I would hit full power too fast, it would overload the motor and would shut off. For now, we're gonna stick with the stock props. Why are you paddling? Yeah, stop paddling. The efficiency of that hull is so high that you like you can't even yeah, feel. Yeah, it's almost, like it's not even making a difference. But it's pronounced boat. The boat. Peter has a nice boat. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. We actually didn't put the solar panels on in the first video, so I actually installed them this time. I did read a lot of comments and a lot of you guys did point out that these flexible solar panels are not efficient and are maybe slightly overrated. And guess what? You guys are actually right. The most I ever got at solar noon was 290 watts, and that's in Florida with a clear blue sky. And I was supposed to get 350 watts. So I'm a little bit short, but a little bit of calculations. 288, 12 amps, 24 volts, because I have a 24 volt system. That's basically what I can get. So 12 amps is a pretty good number to hover around. And that translates to about 2.8 knots with the stock props and three knots with the printer props, which is kind of good. It's a little bit of improvement on performance. And honestly, that's actually not bad for just the whole boat in general. Thumbs up everybody for free electricity. It's not a speed demon by any means. I could build something faster in the future, but honestly, this thing was a lot of fun to take my friends around with and it just ran all day flawlessly. The solar boat is definitely futuristic in its ability to be low maintenance and free to use because it's literally charged from the sun. But it's a little slow in its current form, but you know what isn't slow? a Tesla Model S with all the fixings, and $20,000. To support a great cause, Amaze is giving you a chance to win this Tesla Model S, custom built by Unplugged Performance to be the most unique and high quality Tesla there is. Features include a carbon fiber wide body kit, unplugged wheels, wider rear tires, and more which you can see in the link in the description below. Amaze is working with 501c3 and Give Power to make a brighter tomorrow. 501c3 is building a greener culture through storytelling to showcase solutions for tomorrow's problems. Give Power is on a mission to help bring drinking water to over 2.2 billion people around the world. Through solar technology, they can do this and much, much more. To get a chance to win this Tesla Model S and $20,000 while supporting 501c3 and Give Power, go to omaze.com people and feel good about donating to a good cause today. Overall, I'm very, very pleased with the boat. It was a great experience building this thing. My real hit list was quiet, efficient, easy to use. We managed to cram four people at once into it. One thing I also noticed in the last video, you guys said the roof was too short. I think I might fail to mention that the roof is telescopic. You can actually raise and lower the roof. So the roof is actually raised for the entire time for this video. We ran the boat all around town. I mean, we went quite a few miles. We never really ran the boat below 40% because we simply just get bored and turn around and go back. It's a great platform just to observe nature in Florida in general. We even saw dolphins, manatees, even a rabbit raccoon. Florida is truly an amazing place if you ever get the chance to go. Ultimately, I'm really happy with the boat. I think there's still room for more improvements. I kind of want to do water sports and that means a faster boat. So we may have to upgrade the power system to something even more ridiculous because the strong motors are at their limits. So I may either be buying a really fancy electric outboard or maybe even just building an outboard. But that's a story for part three. This is part two. You can do the math. So what's the rule of the sea? He has to yield to me, right? A uh, smaller boat usually yields to bigger boat. Screw that, we're gonna ram it. <laughs> Alright. Just tap him. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like the boat!
But you guys, look, 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 look at this. Toby's special talent. 